<laughs> whether or not whether or not the government has acted in a way that you feel is defensible, I don't think the government has done anything to earn, in your words, the 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 threat of that the blood of tyrants must run in the streets, which is what the literal threat was from that man with a gun strapped to <clears throat> strapped to his leg in New Hampshire. I also don't think that that there is an equivalence between what MoveOn.org has done and with the comparisons of the president to Hitler that we've seen so often in this debate. I mean, m some of the major organizations who are organizing these events, like Americans for Prosperity, a group that has some similarities to Freedom Works, but is definitely a different group, they've had speakers going around the country not only comparing health care reform to Hitler, but comparing them to Pol Pot and Stalin, saying, put the fear of God into your members of Congress. I don't think the government has done anything to earn that. Did it. That's not but true. But it's not they all right when anybody it. does. The Tea Party Patriots is an organization that your organization is a member of a coalition with. It's called the Tea Party Patriots Health Care Freedom Coalition Partner. That's what Freedom's work is. That's what Americans for Prosperity is. If you go to Tea Party Patriots right now, what they've got on their front page of their website, the top item is a video showing the violence at the town hall in Eber City, in, in Tampa, Florida, essentially promoting that as if that was a good thing that happened that showed what the Healthcare Freedom Coalition wants to have done in the healthcare debate. Freedom Works is part of that coalition. You can say that you denounce it, but the organization that you head is part of it. Listen, uh... Does the president bear some responsibility? Does he undermine his credibility when he makes some claims like, if you like your insurance, you can keep your insurance, <laughs> when a lot of people have said, not really. Employers could drop people from insurance if they wanted to move people into a public plan, if that existed. It may be an aspiration, but he can't guarantee it. It's the way, what he has suggested would guarantee it. What's happening, I think, where the, pro, where the president has some more responsibility is to give the Congress more direction. I find it strange that we've, the American people have decided that there will be a lot more Democrats in Congress than Republicans. The Democrats have a huge 60-seat majority in the Senate, and therefore they've got big majorities on every committee, too. But Max Baucus, who is a Democratic senator, has decided on the Senate Finance Committee, which has this key role in what's going to happen next, that they won't have the whole committee do it. It'll just be three Democrats and three Republicans. Republicans who are going to make that decision. One of those Republicans is going around the country giving out copies of Glenn Beck's book and saying that health care reform will pull the plug on grandma, Senator Grassley. So for, 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 for the Democrats in Congress to be essentially giving up their majority, deciding the way this is going to pass, I think is something that the president ought to weigh in on. There's a reason that Democrats have a 60 seat majority. The American people voted for it, and I think they'd like a Democratic bill. Congressman Army Dan. Policy about what we actually do makes a big difference in terms of how much we have to spend and how much savings we get. One of the reasons that I think a lot of liberals and Democrats are in favor of a strong public option is because the administrative costs are so much lower in a government program, frankly, like Medicare, than they are in private insurance. We waste so many billions of dollars on the administrative costs of having the private insurance-based system that we have now. When you compare us to other industrialized countries that don't have that much of a reliance on all these different thousands of insurance companies, we're wasting a lot of money just moving paper around. Ask healthcare professionals you, you how frustrated they are with how much paper we're wasting. I want to get very interesting on the numbers. Army. These folks are frustrated and angry. Rachel. They're scared to death of what the government's okay. going to do. Do you really Rachel? think that there's a, a major uprising of seniors wanting to get out of Medicare? I know you're suing the government for your right personally to get out of right. Medicare. But do you really think that's the Is problem it? that Medicare that that seniors hate Medicare and they no, want out? I didn't say that. I just, I mean, I, well, very this, this is a this, really important this point. Logic. The anti-health care reform lobby thinks that Medicare is tyranny. Okay, I mean, this is I an important. I mean, you said in 1995 right. that Medicare is a program I would have right. no part of in a free world. Absolutely. You said in right. 2002 right. we're going to have to bite right. the bullet on Social Security and phase it out. And over I'm going a to enumerate time. exactly what I'm talking about. Americans uh, Medicare, need to know this is your position. I'm going to stop this. Is the, the Medicare the law that was law. written. It's very and important to understand. The Medicare law. I, I don't. I don't know what state in the country has secretly more awesome health care than every other state in the country. I sort of feel like every state in the country is in the same pickle when it